Hey everybody, this is Jay Moore. I'm the founder of the group The Ordinary Christian, and uh, today I'm here to bring you this week's missional living devotional. Uh, this, this devotional is based upon the story in the Old Testament found in the book of Daniel called Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These were three servants of God who were also servants of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. Uh, they, they were Jewish people, and they were committed to living to the, uh, to the one true living, breathing God. They were committed to living uh, faithfully to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. But Nebuchadnezzar had made this big golden idol, and he had made a decree, made it law that everybody who, uh, excuse me, everybody who was... Um, in his providence, in his kingdom, at certain time of day, every day, when the music started playing, they were to stop what they were doing and to bow down and begin to worship uh, this golden idol. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew that the one true living, breathing God, you know, told them never to do that, and so they were committed not to. They were committed to obeying God. As a result, uh, they got found out. King Nebuchadnezzar told them that you either start worshiping God. Uh, the idol, or I'm going to throw you into the fiery furnace. And, and then he says, do you think your God can save you then? And they, they made a statement that was really powerful. They said, we're more than confident that our God is able to forgive us or to save us from this sin, to save us from your hands in the fiery furnace. But even if he chooses not to, we will still not bow. And, and King Nebuchadnezzar never got angry and he had them bound and thrown into the fire and had the furnace heated up hotter than it had ever been before. Even the men who were throwing them in were, were burning up. And uh, then King Nebuchadnezzar looked inside the furnace and he, and he said, how many people didn't we throw in there? Didn't we throw in three? And the you know, men, his servants said, well, yes, it was three. And he says, well, then why do I see four? And one of them looks like the Son of God. You know, this was a uh, a powerful statement here because he realized that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego wasn't burning up and, and there was another presence and they were protecting them and he ordered them to come out and they came out and and, and then he gave this decree. He says, you know, I, there is no God who can save like the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he says, and I'm making it law that if anybody speaks bad against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are to be cut into pieces, and their houses are to be burned to rubble. It's an amazing story of what can happen when God's servants live powerful, missional lives. Their life became missional because even King Nebuchadnezzar, a pagan king, began to realize that the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that there is no other God like Him. He's able to deliver them from the fiery furnace. But here are three characteristics, and this is the point that I want, really want to make, three characteristics that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had that allowed them to shine the light of, of God brightly, allowed them to live that powerful missional life. The first one was they had an uncompromising obedience. Uncompromising obedience. Even in the face of of death. They refused to disobey what God had said. They were going to obey God no matter what. They wouldn't compromise it. They weren't going to reject it. They weren't going to try to rationalize disobedience. They were going to follow and obey God completely. Uncompromising. And you and I need to have that same kind of uncompromising obedience to God. Even if everybody else laughs at us, makes fun of us, or even like them tries to harm us, we still won't disobey. The other thing they had was an unwavering faith. They, the statement they made says, O King, we are more than confident that our God is able to save us from the fiery furnace. They said, we know He can do it. We have faith in Him. He can do anything. Unwavering faith. Unwavering. Their faith in God wasn't going to be weakened because of their circumstances. Weakened because of their trial or their tribulation. And that allowed them to stand with boldness and stand with confidence before the, the greatest king of the world at that time and say, we're not going to do this because our faith in God, our faith in our God is unwavering. 
You, you can't intimidate us, O king. Because our faith is so sound and strong. And we've got to have that same kind of unwavering faith. And here's the last one. They had a total surrender to the sovereignty of God. Total surrenderty to the sovereignty of God. Because listen to what he says right after the, the little quote he said. They said, we are more than confident that our God is able to deliver us from this fiery furnace. Listen. But even if he chooses not to, we will not bow. Even if God chooses not to deliver us, we will not bow. We are totally surrendered to God. Totally surrendered to His sovereignty. It's not my, it's like they're saying, it's not our decision whether we die in the fiery furnace or we survive and live past the fiery furnace. That's not our decision to make. That is in the hands of God who decides for Himself. We'll leave that in the hands of God, and it's okay, whatever He decides. But we will, you know, be totally surrendered to it. We also need to put no conditions on God. We need to be totally surrendered to His sovereignty, to His leadership, to Him being the boss. We can't try to manipulate God and get God to do what we want. Instead, we just need to resign ourselves to do what He has already chosen to do. All right, this is Jay Moore. I want to encourage you to put these three characteristics and make them more a part of your life. Uncompromising obedience, unwavering faith, total serenity to the sovereignty of God. Go out and live that powerful mission life. Go out and shine the light of Christ. All right, this is Jay Moore. I'm the founder of The Ordinary Christian. If you haven't already done so, go sign up for our newsletter. Go over to TheOrdinaryChristian.com. Sign up. And, and get your free subscription. Take care. God bless you. We'll see you next time on The Ordinary Christian.